Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video, we're going to offer a detailed breakdown and review of the Alpine Stars SP1 Full Cuff Sport and track glove. This is the top end of their sport series. You can stretch this glove into the track. Notice it's a full cuff gauntlet. From here, you'd really step up to something like the GP Pro, which is a straight up track glove. And from a step down from the SP1, it's going to be something like the SP2, which is a little bit less technical. But really, you're looking at a spring, summer, fall glove that offers a ton of protection and you can stretch into the additional or the occasional track day. This is the black version, it comes in three colors. I'm wearing a size extra large, and you're really going to fall in that mid hundred dollar range. So it's going to be between right in the middle between hundred and two hundred dollars, and it's a big step up over the SP2 as far as protection. You're looking at a full grain cowhide chassis on this guy, so a full grain cow, cowhide throughout. It's a full gauntlet. As we move up, you're going to see a lot of elasticated stretch panels. They're for articulation and stretch in active riding conditions on the bike. So whether you're in spirited street riding or if you're hitting the track, you're going to be spending a lot of time moving on your bike and you're going to need that flexibility to allow you to not get fatigued in longer distance, more active riding conditions. As we move up past there, notice we have a lot of temper foam on this guy for protection. It's all perforated. So back of the hand, mid digitally, tips of the fingers along and that's going to be on top of double reinforcement on the backs of the fingers as well but I'm going to get to that in a second. The other thing you notice, full carbon knuckle here and the carbon knuckle sits on top of its own panel and notice it's a little bit, it's some of the niceties, some of the details here. You even have some rubberized Alpine Stars trim which is really a stylistic element but this extra panel that the carbon knuckle is built into is going to allow it to flex and move with your hand as you're working the controls. If this was a single back of the hand piece, what would happen is this carbon knuckle, when you flexed and it rolled forward, it would pull the entire back of your hand and that becomes very uncomfortable very quickly. So really it's, it's one of those well thought out design features they actually see in all Alpine Stars gloves. Moving up, we talked about the mid digital temper foam. Now if we look, these are full grain leather fingers and then you have the double reinforcement that sits over top and you're going to have further elastication in the mid digits here across the mid finger knuckles. So one, two, three, and then the outside of the hand, the pinky, is actually reinforced to be a little bit less motile and you're going to have triple reinforcement here. So you have full grain cowhide on top of clarino on top of the base layer of cowhide and that's really done to beef up the lateral protection in the case of a low side you see it in a lot of alpine stars gloves but again in track day or riding on the street scenarios all it takes is a little gravel patch and you're down on the side and the first thing that comes in contact with the ground when your bars hit are going to be the outside of your hand and there's a lot of area to do damage there so they reinforce that really really well as we start to spin this way you're going to see a big cuff here that that surrounds the thumb two temper foam panels and notice how the chlorino or synthetic suede starts to wrap around. These are areas that are going to get in high use with your controls. And we talked about that accordion stretch panel on the inside of your thumb here. That's again for comfort. As we move to the inside, you're going to see a nice pre-curve, full grain leather, reinforced with Clarino. You have silicone SP1 here. It's stylized, but again, it's going to help you with tactile response and grip. And then notice the beefy, beefy reinforcement as we come along the heel of the hand and up the outside of the little finger. So this is all reinforced Clarino. You can see the stitching. It's going to have temper foam padding underneath for vibration dampening. And then in the heel here, we have a big temper foam perforated slider. And then notice we have this cuff that's going to protect the small bones in your wrist as well as cover the wrist adjuster strap. And I did talk about it, but if you can come in here on the outside of the pinky finger, you're going to see black Clarino that covers up additional leather that's over top of the first layer of leather around the finger. So again, lots of protection laterally on the outside of the hand. Moving down past that wrist adjuster, it's actually a triple cuff closure here. So the third cuff is the, is the mini adjuster. You're going to see a micro velcro patch with the first piece and then the second piece so allow you to really cinch it down, get it over top of either your race suit or get it over top of your leather jacket. Again, you can really stretch the functionality of the SP1. It's a great deal of technicality for the price point. So if you have any questions about the SP1, shoot us a line, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. As always, it's over 39 bucks. It's going to ship for free. If you get the wrong size, send it back to us. We'll exchange it for free. And anything over $100 earns Teamzilla cash to be applied to your next order. The bottom line, though, is if you just don't like it, send it back in new condition with the tags unworn, and we will give you 100% back to your credit card fee. There's never a restock fee here at RevZilla.com. So again, the SP1 from Alpine Stars available at RevZilla.com slash Alpine Stars. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time on RevZilla TV.